Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. On the healing bench today, the DeWilt underwater drill. This is especial. I'm going to show you how to waterproof your tools. What you get is some acrylic or silicon conformal coating. This uh, is available from electronic stores. And you're going to want to uh, take this all apart. Now this is epoxy potted. So this is the circuit board. So that's great. And then we just go ahead and spray the whole works. And you're going to want to do two, three coats of this. That's the deal. Bigger the gob, the better the job. Now you can see this one's actually been under fresh water before. Because it's got some rust. But surface rust, you know. Once in a while, no big deal. Okay, and you want to avoid... You want to get it on the soldered leads, but you want to avoid these spade connectors that go into the battery. Right, we've let that conformal coating flash off and it's hardened nicely. You can see that nice thick layer. A couple of coats is all it took. Now we can go ahead and put this back together and move on to the next stage. Let me do the same thing with the batteries. Now be forewarned, these are mean little bastards. So, rings, yeah, they'll burn you and they will explode. Okay, she's back together and all conformally coated. So now we're going to grease the hell out of the contacts here with this electrical insulating compound. It's um, dielectric grease, silicone grease, what it probably Vaseline or any grease will do, but this is a smoke em if you got them scenario. Again, don't be shy. The Grease Manufacturers Association of America, their kids need shoes too. Goop that in there real nice. What we're essentially trying to do is prevent electrolysis. You're still going to get some. You're never going to make this completely waterproof, but you are going to extend the life a lot. Okay, we got this ready to go. Fully charged it. And right here in the Empire Dirt, we are going to recreate the nastiest compound known to man, bilge water. Good old Windsor. Table salt. Ah, fuck. Now, no bilge would be complete without the 30 weight, disgusting, black mess of cat juice. Now, the only thing left is to piss off the starving kids in Africa crowd. Brand new monitor. Let's take the labels off. Well, son of a diddly. It's official, folks. First time since 1980 I've been wrong. Still worky worky. The thing's too smart for its own good. Son of a bitchin' thing turns off as soon as it uh, senses the bilge water. Huh? Oh, this fucking thing's disgusting. Try to lower gear. Maybe it's torquing up. Okay, she's been sitting in the bilge water for a good hour here. Off, of course. Ugh. Makes a good little pump. As you can see, no harm, no foul. Still worky worky. Disgusting. Thanks for watching. Keep your prick in this lice.